It's February the 23rd, 2022. Yeah. I'm Jake's Bounty. I'm in the garage once again. It's a What the Fuck Wednesday. Let's do it. Jake's Bell. I'm your host, Jake Hernandez. Hold on, the camera's a little cockeyed. See if I can fix that. Because she got some cock in her eye. And let's see if that's any better. Get in there, you son of a bitch. Okay, I don't think that's any better. Um, there. That might be better. Fuck it. All right, let's go ahead and get into the show. Like to think, shit, it's still all cockeyed. Nah, maybe that's better. Okay. All right, fuck it. Let's go ahead and take the time to thank our music uh, provided by Instruments of Murder this time. With their song, um, shit, I don't know, but anyway, you can go get on their album, uh, Family Annihilator. It drops out March 2nd, so go ahead and do that. Um, right now, we've got dog training for dummies over here. Jake's uh, bounty, you can type in the word dummy, you get it for $5.99. Also, we got dust off, uh, good for your house appliances and your technology, not good for your mouth. Dust off, right here. Let me go ahead and turn off. The dryer, all right, dust off, turn off. Don't get that annoying sound in the background, all right. Well, I found out why my mail hasn't been coming to me in the last week and a half. It's because someone broke into the mail. Uh, our big, like, uh, community mail uh, boxes uh, has about, like, 14 or more of them. Somebody broke into them and some shit, so now I have to go down to the mail Go to the post office and collect my mail. Fucking shitty. And they weren't even going to call us and tell us, hey, this happened or anything like that. I've been waiting for some shit in the mail. What the fuck? All right, let's go ahead and get into some news. A lawsuit against Fresno police aims to change the treatment of unhoused uh, residents. These included Lewis Brown had a four charge uh, before his trial, and then he got uh, three charges thrown out, and then he was found not guilty of the remaining uh, charge, which was resisting an arrest. Brown says he suffered bruises and cuts for when he was arrested um, back um, last year. And uh, his lawyer says the entire sweep was unconstitutional. All right. Driver crashes 300 feet down the mountainside, slams into a tree. This happened to a 19 year old on Highway 180 near Highway 63. 9 a.m. yesterday, um, he went off a cliff, and uh, luckily he was wearing a seatbelt. He suffered moderate to major injuries, though, and the cause is still under investigation. Who knows if it was the rain or he was going too fast? Who knows? Police investigating a uh, smash and grab at Coles in North Fresno at Louisville, near Fresno Street at River Park. This happened uh, 1 p.m. yesterday. Four to five men and women came in and stole 40 fragrances. They, were, they weren't armed, and no description of the vehicle or the ID subjects have been given at this time, all right? Angry Chickens opens third restaurant in Fresno, or is it Angry Chicks? Well, you can tell me in the comments below. Uh, it's a Nashville chicken uh, type place, and um, Nashville hot chicken, rather. And this one, next one's gonna be at El Paseo, marketplace um and you have to sign a waiver to eat the angry chicken plate so i don't think i'm gonna visit that place very soon if you happen to have visited that place and had the uh, angry chicken plate let me know just how hot it is all right um well, let's go ahead right now and get into dog training for dummies all right let's get in here and uh, adding some outside distraction distraction outside adds a new layer of enticement to your dog going through the door. Follow these steps when Buddy is distracted. When Buddy is distracted, uh, apply a little leash pressure in the form of a check, a snappy crisp jerk back if uh, your dog goes to the threshold. The action of the door has been enough to stop Buddy from crossing the threshold. Without distraction, in the presence of a distraction, there must be a consequence should the step over the threshold without your permission. 
okay? If you are holding the dog back from moving through the door opening, he'll learn this exercise. The pressure of the leash is coming from him and making a mistake. He needs to control himself, giving uh, your dog a verbal command such as wait or stay, sit or be tempting. Maybe let's learn to respect the door and invisible command and wait till you give it permission to, accept, to exit for his safety, all right? So my dog isn't here right now, but he's in the backyard and he knows uh, the whole, you know, come to the door and go back to the door. Uh, so I'm good in that respect, but maybe you're not. So maybe you need dog training for dummies. Get here at uh, Jake's Bounty when typing the word dummy. Just $5.99 when you do so, all right? Okay, well, I wanna go ahead and let you know, um, about uh, some movies we've got here at Jake's, uh, Jake's, uh, at Ray's video, huh? <laughs> um, lately we were doing the 10 uh, horror cult classic uh, pack, but we also got some new movies that uh, I found in the dumpster that I didn't share with you guys all. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and share some with you guys right now. Um, I'm just looking for some, let's see, uh, yes. This is a new one right here. Miller's Crossing. Gabriel Byrne, Marcia Gay Harden, John Turturro, and Albert Finley. Let's see what this one's about. Filmmakers Joel and Ethan Cohen, Barton Fink, and Fargo create a complex and graphic vision of gangsterism uh, set during Prohibition and featuring riveting rogues, gallery of killers, and con men. Leo uh, Albert Finney, a likable Irish gangster boss, rules an Easter... City, along with Tom Gabriel Byrne, his trusted lieutenant and counselor, but just as their uh, authority is challenged by Italian underboss John Polito and his ruthless uh, Frenchman, uh, ooh, excuse me, henchman, not Frenchman, <laughs> uh, J.E. Freeman, Leo and Tom also fall for the same woman. Tom is caught in the jaws of a gangland power struggle, walks a deadly tightrope as he tries to control and manipulate his violent outcome. All right, so. Uh, you can get this at Ray's video. Uh, it's one of the newer ones that I found in the trash. It works very well. So uh, here it is, Miller's Crossing, all right? Just $1 seven-day rental. Okay, well, let's go and get to the what the fuck story. It is Wednesday, so we'll bring you a what the fuck story. It might be something from Hollywood. It might be something from local. This time, not necessarily Hollywood. It happened more in England to a band that's from over there, but it is more or less about a celebrity band um, and then ended up going to uh, going to jail. Well, the lead singer ended up going to jail anyway. Prison, rather. And it was about the Welsh band Lost Prophets. That's right. Uh, we had to get to them sooner or later. Um, they were formed in 1997 by singer-lyricist Ian Watkins. All right. And uh, three other members of the band as well. And uh, they started getting... Uh, Pretty well noticed uh, right up from the get-go and uh, released their first album in 2001. They were released five LPs uh, before the uh, crime incident would happen. And uh, what did take place? Well, in uh, 2012, um, let's see, on December 19th, 2012, Watkins, the lead singer of Lost Prophets, was charged with conspiracy to engage in sexual activity with a one-year-old girl. That's right, a one-year-old girl. As well as distributing the pornography. Um, on November 26, 2013, he pleaded guilty to attempted rape and a sexual assault of a child under 13. He was uh, given three counts of sexual assault, uh, as well as including children, and uh, six counts of taking and making and possessing of indec indecent images of children, okay? Uh, he would later uh, be sent to 29 years in prison for multiple sex uh, offenses. And um, in 2018, they would find him with a mobile phone. Hopefully it was shoved up his ass. Um, but no, he's going to be in prison for a long time. And probably not just the 29 years that he was sentenced. That's probably just... Uh, um, you know, like they'll re-look at it in 29 years and go like, well, let's see, has he rehabilitated? Do we really want him out there in the world? No. <laughs> anyway, you can uh, read about more of this band, Lost Prophets. They went on to uh, get into another band. Uh, they had a new lead singer and they started another band. 
the rest of the guys are doing some other projects and are still in music. Fortunately, they have uh, this kind of cloud hanging over them. Um, it probably will never uh, be uh, any different for them, but at least they actually didn't have anything to do with the crime. You know, and you can go look up for yourself more about Ian Watkins and Lost Prophets on Google or on YouTube or on any media music platform. All right, all right. Well, that's gonna do it for us today. But before I say goodbye. I want to let you know about my bounty. That's right. I actually turned in my uh, cans over the weekend. I didn't tell you about how much I got. I got $105. That's right. So very good for me. And now here I'm going to show you what the cans I got today. All right. So I got uh, Red Bull and a water bottle. And uh, this is truly uh, another Red Bull. What's this right here? This is a cacao hemp, hemp seeds, cacao, coconut, and vanilla raw generation right there. If you happen to have that, let me know in the comments below. Hands are all full of shit. <laughs> but that's what you get when you can, all right? I'll tell you about tomorrow. We'll be having the news, my bounty, uh, so much more. I have some stuff that I'll be going to do today. I have a... Uh, Doctor's appointment, I'll tell you about tomorrow. We'll also be having uh, Throwback Thursdays. We'll have the news, my bounty, so much more. So come back and join me. We'll also have some more from Instruments of Murder. And uh, I'd also like to thank my sponsors, Miller's Crossing right here, Ray's Video, $1 seven day rental, as well as Dog Training for Dummies, uh, $5.99 when I type in the word dummy. And uh, so you guys be good to yourselves and be good to each other. And right now, here's some more of Instruments of Murder. This is their uh, album, Family Annihilator, and uh, here it is right here. It drops March 2nd, so you guys be ready for that, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's just Jake's Valley was filmed at Fornicate Yourself Records production 2021. 2022, excuse me. You can follow him on his Facebook, his channel, his website, wherever you like, leave a comment. As always, please subscribe. Fingers crossed that I get my mail today and all my video games and all that other shit, my DMV. Fingers crossed. <laughs>